I'm sure a lot of people will ask or, or later. So, so, so with this, this thing, we can just have the visualization on this image. But in case I want to save this visualization, how can I do it? So the, the best is to use the plugin that is uh, designed for, for this. So plugins, 3D, uh, on the, yeah, very, very below, 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 3D draw ROI. So mostly the last one, 3D draw ROI. So, yep, so 3D draw ROI, or you can search, search here, 3D draw ROI. So basically you have the, the idea is you have the, the raw data, the data you want to draw your object on. So basically it should be like the original raw data. So here for me, it's uh, the sample fish mini, the original raw data, and then the segmented data. A lot of plugins will be like this. What is the raw data? What is the label data? So it will be kind of a common, uh, common thing to do. The segmented data will be, so I want to draw the object. This, this thing is uh, uh, not linked to 3D manager. So I want to draw the object coming from uh, channel one from this image or this image. So if I want to draw the object coming from, from this image, this image is C3. So we just choose C3. So I will draw, I will extract the object from this image and draw the array on this on this original image. So maybe I just, yep. okay. And then, okay. So you see, you draw the, the, the array of the object on all slices coming from the object coming from this image onto this raw data. Uh, so you can see this one is a RGB image. So I think the color, you can choose the color with a color picker. Let's, uh, let's, let's try again. Playing in 3D, 3D array. Alors, coming from C, no, the raw data is sample fish, segmented data is C3. Yeah. So first you need to choose the color with the color picker, and then it will draw the, the object selected from one image to, to the raw data. So yeah, so usually it's quite good for selection or to show people or on, after you can create a, just to finish, huh? uh, save as uh, blah, 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 uh, where is it, AVI. So you can save as a movie and put in your presentation. So usually this is what we do, say, oh, we segmented the, the data and the data are here. We don't really care about this image. We really care where are the object onto the origin image, what can we see? So this is usually this is what, uh, uh, what we do. Uh, yes, I think this is it. So just to, yeah. Uh, John yeah. has a question about uh, linking objects. Linking. Uh, um, so, so, yeah. So say you'd like to count the, the number of uh, nucleoli in a, a nucleus and kind yeah. of associate the two. Is there an easy way in, in yes. for a manager? So, so basically, the, this thing is hiding in a quantification. So you select the, the object. You want to quantify something inside the object nucleus. Or what you want to quantify, you don't want to quantify the intensity. You want to quantify the objects, the other objects. So you want to quantify inside this image. So it's a, exactly the same idea. You use this image and the quantification you will on this one, on the nuclear light image. So it will quantify not the intensity, but the number of objects inside the label image. So you select your object, you select your image to do the quantification, quantification 3D. So quantification 3D will do both things. Quantify the intensity, but here you don't care about the intensity, you care about this thing. Number of objects, volume of object. So you have three objects, okay, good. On the volume of object, the object, the three objects 
have a total volume of 24,000 things. So this quantification 3D, if you use a, a original intensity image, it suggests the, the intensity. So you may focus on this part. If the image you quantify is a, a label image with segmented object inside, you may be more interested in this part, the number of objects and the volume of objects. Another way to do, uh, so maybe if you, so we have this uh, this object. This now I'm interested in these three objects. Uh, let's say we have many nuclei inside the image. You want to check that this the, all the nucleoli belong to which nucleus? Nucleus number one, nucleus number two. Here we have only one nucleus, so it's not very fun. In case we have many nucleus, so you can do the, the same. So now we want to do some measurement on this object and using this image. So when I do this, I select the object nucleoli, I select the image to quantify the nucleus, and do the same thing, quantification. And then I can see, it's not very fun here, but um, this is the point. Uh, we want here, at center, at the center pixel, we, we, I have the value one, so here I measure this is a bit tricky, but you can do a lot of things, but you have to think properly. So I measure the object and the intensity in this, inside this image. So inside this image, if I have many nucleus, I will get the, the intensity will be the, the nucleus number, the nucleus ID. So for this three nuclear lie at the center, the nucleus ID is one. Okay. So this three nuclear lie belongs to nucleus number one. So imagine you have many nucleus. We, we have some images later with, with this. Imagine you have many nuclei, many spots, many nuclei. So you know which spot belong to which nucleus. So you can do both like which all the objects belong to which bigger object. And in, we, um, on inside bigger object, how many smaller objects do I have? You can do both. So using this uh, quantification 3D. So this can, the, the normal use is to quantify the intensity, but you can use this with this kind of trick to quantify the ID of the object when you use not uh, intensity image, but uh, label data. So this is something we can do also. Uh, 